Hello everyone, welcome to Carrow Road. Look at these guys working hard to clear up the mess in the stands. Top job. Oh um, sadly, they can only deal with the mess in the stands and not the mess on the pitch, <laughs> but there we go. Uh, I missed the Brighton game. Um, I actually had a bit of leave. It was my wife's birthday. Happy birthday, Fliss. Um, which was uh, lovely, but um, and I was kind of quite grateful because clearly that game was um, was not Norwich's finest moment in Premier League history. It wasn't a particular disaster, but it was a bit, bit anonymous, a bit ominous, um, ominous even. <laughs> and uh, I felt quite grateful that I didn't have to do one of these videos after it. Um, of course, Norwich have obliged by doing <laughs> a kind of a similar-ish performance, I guess, in in degrees here against uh, Watford, who, don't forget, arrived here at Carroll Road without a win in the Premier League this season, rooted to the bottom of the table uh, by a couple of points from Norwich, uh, which is, of course, now where Norwich find themselves, having played a game more than everyone else except the team now just above them. Um, we are now 12 games into the season, uh, and I'm probably going to end up doing the video report that I would have done at the Amex, I guess, because... It's hard. Uh, you speak to the players in the mix zone and there's no one there who isn't trying to do their best and isn't trying to adapt to the Premier League as quickly as possible. Um, but uh, they just don't look good enough, uh, to be honest, at the moment. And obviously I'm, I'm describing that in, in a snapshot. Confidence is a huge thing in football. It can switch really quickly once it clicks. Um, and all of a sudden players who are struggling to do certain things can um, can find their feet and look and look good enough. Um, likewise, we only have to go back till September to remember a time when Norwich completely looked good enough for the Premier League when they beat Manchester City. And it is truly remarkable how quickly Norwich are becoming capable of doing the things that they did so well in that game: beating a press, passing combinations, keeping the ball well, and using it really clinically, um, creating clear chances and. That this is the problem now. Norwich look horrendously open. They, they gift Watford a, a, a goal in the, in the first two minutes, really, from Emmy Buendia losing the ball, which he put both hands in the air for. And we all know, obviously, what kind of an error that is. They aren't keeping the ball particularly well. Uh, Tom Tribal said that, you know, the, the reaction he was happy with. And I can definitely see elements of that because they didn't roll over. And I guess that's almost more galling because they are they are trying they, they are really digging in but th th there are lots of facets where at the moment they don't look good enough and, and it's the quality of the ball their technical proficiency at the moment doesn't look at the level that is competing with the teams around them which is a worry physicality wise Norwich just don't seem as energetic now again that might be psychological um, but they're not covering ground in the same way that they have done in the past and in, in the same way that other teams are they are getting generally bullied off the ball a lot which which is quite disappointing and um, they just look a bit slow which uh, when you look at players again like Emi Buendia you you want to see him buzzing around and I don't he can still use the ball quite well at times obviously because he's a hugely talented player who's just going through a difficult patch but there's no buzzing I'm not seeing much buzzing from anyone really and Again, confidence is clearly a factor in all of that, but I think I said to, to one of my colleagues, Adam Crafton, that uh, you know, losing confidence is a bit like when you're on like, a plastic sheet with, with da down a hill with washing up liquid on it, and it, you, once you lose it, it, it's very hard to stop it. And also, how do you get back up? You know, it takes, it takes sparks, and sometimes it takes things that you, you're almost having to be passive about waiting for them to happen, or you try and make them happen, but you, you need something to click before it actually takes hold and we all know how difficult the Premier League is uh, I've said this from the very start it looks an incredibly strong division and the only I guess element to that which is a struggle is is a team like Sheffield United who have seemed to have adjusted to it relatively well I mean Aston Villa spent a lot of money and, and actually did some fairly good recruitment I felt but I mean again they they, they look like sides who've adjusted really well to things and um I think Norwich are in a, are in a rut, as, as you will have seen um, quite clearly. The second goal in the second half came from everyone standing still, basically, and Joe Adelafeu dinking the ball across, Andre Gray making a, a great run, but completely catching Jamal Lewis out, uh, and, um, and then sort of back heeling and deflected effort that went in, the, <laughs> went in and uh, kind of summed up a lot, a lot really, of, of the problems Norwich have got. And 
then Norwich end up playing against 10 men for the final 25 minutes and you wouldn't really say the game was any particularly different in terms of dynamic than it was for the previous 65 and again Watford Norwich are clearly chasing the game at that point but you know, Watford still had pretty good chances and, and, and Norwich still struggled to make anything really clear cut a couple of long range uh, range efforts that Ben Foster dealt pretty well with um, but that's it you know to list the to list the issues Norwich have got would be would be difficult because there were quite a few of them now and you know Mario Vrancic came came in but I think you're asking quite a lot for him to suddenly be a Premier League game changer in terms of Norwich's entire setup and uh, yeah it's, it's posing a lot of questions of Daniel Farker who, who wasn't particularly happy when we spoke to him after the game has to be said and you know that that first goal uh, grated with him significantly as you would expect he's obviously trying to set up a team and and, and when they when he sees them making uh, the same mistakes it's probably very hard to take um, how he changes it from here is going to be very difficult because it's the it's probably the debate between evolving and adapting what you're doing and not losing your principles um, but I think the big question at the moment is are Norwich good enough to do what he wants them to do at this level probably now that the Premier League knows what they're about and has done enough done enough uh, looking into um, how to stop them I think that if you want to look at the, the biggest difference since Manchester City and then winning a game like that is that I think no one is taking them lightly which is what you would have said probably Newcastle and to a degree Manchester City did here so um, Norwich got to adapt to that otherwise this is going to be a very long season and um, and a very difficult one too Sorry, it's not more upbeat, but that's, that's how I see it at the moment. The good thing is we've got two weeks to, uh, to stew on it and uh, Norwich head to Everton. I mean, again, we want a, a semblance of how difficult the Premier League is. Everton are having a difficult season. They're really struggling. Their manager's under pressure. The quality of their side is a different level from this Watford team. Yeah, anyway, the joys of the Premier League. I'm sure we'll all enjoy it while we're here. Um, try and make the most of it and all that sort of stuff uh, as always there'll be uh, there'll be plenty going on on the athletic over the international break so check that out there'll be a piece from tonight as well and probably a little bit more analysis coming over to the to uh, during the next week now that i've had my uh, break and i'm suitably refreshed uh, you can check all that all of that out at theathletic.co.uk and uh, of course um, there'll be loads of other stuff with all the other football clubs and superb writers that I get to share employment with now so uh, make sure you check all that out there's links in the in the uh, descriptions here I'm sure uh, if you enjoyed the video like subscribe follow do what you need to do share the word it's always um, it's always appreciated and uh, we'll see you on the other side of the international uh, break where let's hope um, nothing too untoward happens to any Norwich players so that we can get back to uh, something that might create a spark of positivity going forward uh, in the meantime I can't remember if I said the score but uh, Watford won 2-0 Norwich at bottom of the Premier League roll on whatever's next <laughs>